in the East Village of Manhattan, there's an unconventional, quintessentially New York shop, and it's devoted to the making and selling of an item I never knew I wanted. My name is John Casey. I am the proprietor of Casey Rubber Stamps in the East Village of New York. What is Casey Rubber Stamps? We make all sorts of wonderful stamps. Dogs, cats, trains, planes. You also do custom stamps, right? We do logos, we do wedding invitations, we do signatures, we do photographs, we do children's drawings. We do a lot of goofy things that just people want. Expressions that people say in the office. Uh, you know, giving their boss a hard time. If it can be rendered in black and white, we can make it into a stamp. We do not make hundred dollar bills for the etched look translates very well into rubber stamps. Uh, I don't do cute, we're not into the all-mark look. I have a few modern designs, but basically... So no emojis. 90, no emojis. You see this sailing ship? I actually bought an 1880s catalogue of, of the company that produced the original just to get a pristine printing of the image so I could make the, the, the highest quality rubber stamp that you could make. And I happen to like this stamp anyway. And what do you think you, you makes you like it so much? I, I don't know, it just appeals to me. And I'm not even an article person. How about this NYC, stu su <laughs> NYC sewer? NYC <laughs> sewer. That's one of these ones that a, a friend of mine asked me to make, but it's one that I wouldn't have thought of making on, on my own volition. I love it. As a group, I've always loved it as some Wonderland stamps. So do you look through these old books, and then you can take an image and, and turn it into a stamp? And turn it into a stamp, yeah. If you can see them, I mean, like flowers like this make great stamps. Beautiful. I originally came to New York in 1968, God help me. 67, bloody hell. New Has York it... is a town of misfits and so I fit in perfectly. I'm Irish originally, from the county of Cork, a small little village on the cork Curry border. Is Cork where your stamp passion began? When I was a child, I was into coins in a big way. My dad had a small dance hall and he went to this print shop where he made posters and they knew I was into coins. They had an old printing block of a coin and they turned it into a stamp for me. So uh, I just thought this was incredible. And then you like, began making stamps, yeah, just like so that. I'm only doing this though until I get my top show on the air. <laughs> Perfect. Well, this is your audition right now and you're doing really well. What do you think it was about coins that appealed to you? And do you think it's the same tactile thing that drew you to oh, coins and uh, to stamps? You're very good because it, if you think of a coin and the surface of a rubber stamp, they're very similar. I started working in these village actually in 1974. There's no secret to stick you around. It's uh, not getting kicked out because the, 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 the landlords want higher rent. Uh, they want a chain store. They want a bank. Starbucks or whatever, you know. I imagine you're one of the only people doing something like this. I'm the only person making novelty rubber stamps in the city. We sell what we make. What would be like this price? Something like that is eight dollars. This is actually how the stamps are made. We start off with a paste up. Okay. We make a negative. Negative goes on a sensitized plate. This is a modern letterpress plate. This is an old style of plastic that softens in three minutes. The plate gets gets squeezed into it, becomes a mold. And after 10 minutes it hardens and then this goes onto the mold under heat and pressure. A lot of the commercial places have changed to this liquid polymer material. It's quicker, it's cheaper, it's easier, but the old style way of making stamps produces a much better stamp. And my stamps will last, you know, I have 30 year old stamps, you wouldn't know I didn't make them yesterday. And how long does the whole process take? If I'm making a custom plate, like seven, eight hours, it's tackle polymer, it releases the mold. Certainly any guy from 1940 could walk in here and other than the computers could make stamps with my equipment, no problem. Do you still feel very connected to your Irish roots? I self-identify as a New Yorker. I'm a real New Yorker, in fact. I wasn't born here, which makes me a real New Yorker. <laughs> and New Yorkers has very little influence in my accent, but when I go to Ireland, they know I live in New York and not Boston, Chicago or Philadelphia. They hear you talk and they say that's a New York accent. They, 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 that's New York Irish accent, which I find to be terribly amusing. <laughs> a lot of people that like stamps are already visually inclined. And many years ago, people would say, oh, the, the computer's going to put you out of business. And I knew intuitively that it wouldn't. So my best customers are people that love computer graphics, but want to get fingers covered in ink and stuff like that. The computer keyboard does not give the same kind of tactile feel as the rubber stamp does. Increase, increase the pressure to get a whole different effect and uh, they're very versatile in um, how they can be used. For a low-tech item, they can do an awful lot. The only difference between me in the store here and me in the pub is that I drink more in the pub uh, because I interact with the customers in a way that, you know, stores probably shouldn't, but I do. <laughs> so uh, I get great pleasure out of this, out of this place. <laughs> 